Oh, Sokran. Mr. Muscles with the suitcase. Mr. Bum's getting carried down by Srejukut. <laughs> and uh, we're going to show you this hotel room we stayed in at the Naveen guest house last night, which is a very basic place. Canal would have stayed here on some of her basic trips that she would have run back in the old days when you were a tour guide. Yes. Yes. And they are basic because they're pretty basic, as well as I'll show you in a moment. This will probably be the quickest hotel review that we've ever done because there's not much to review. And this is an old school guest, guest house. I mean, we are smack bank right like one block back from the riverside here in Phnom Penh. So it's all about the location. And when people come here and they want to be in the thick of it and they just want to drop their bags and go, this is the sort of place you can stay. Um, our friend Jet, who runs this place, we don't know what he charges. We just turned up here as per our planning for this part, um, I'll put down here or somewhere on this page or even in the title what this place is worth to a punter or an, uh, a person without the connections that Canal has, uh, what it's worth to stay here. But uh, let's start by checking out some of the few features of this room. So first up, you've got three beds so you can house a bit of a party. One, two, we've moved that one over just to give ourselves some room to spread out. And three over here, which is in an interesting spot, sort of tucked away in the corner over here. Um, we've got this lovely pink motif. One thing I, I don't get with Cambodian hotels or this era is why don't I don't just paint the things white to give it a bit more brightness during the day. That would just lighten the mood a little bit, I think. We do have a lovely desk, this wooden, wooden area here, which I don't know what it's for, but we've definitely got one, this wooden thing. Um, we've got this massive wooden cupboard as well. I don't think you get a safe here either, as is. No, there we go. Just some coat hangers down here. Did we get a safe? No, we've got a book. Oh, we've got a book. We've got a book and some paper. Oh, check it out. David Baldacci. Verse on van Het. It's not in a language that I am familiar with. No, no point knocking that one off. We've got the uh, frequently FAQs down there as well. And we've got this Anchor Wat artwork, which we've got at home at the Mildly Interesting HQ. We've got very, very, very similar artwork. And it's nice to know that we've been, the decretage in this place is familiar to us on our trip. Um, one thing that uh, is a feature, I don't know if it's a feature, but we woke up with the whole wall, whole wall, the whole floor just covered in water because the aircon was doing such a, a hard job overnight, removing all the moisture from the room. Um, and it was pissing out all the condensation along here. So lucky the bed's not up against the wall. And it was doing that because we didn't realize that the windows were open because we didn't see through these heavily tacked um, and welded bits of security that these windows were just straight open. But anyway, check out the view through the bars. It's sort of like a, sort of like a jail, it's, but sort of not, but you get to see the, the power lines and all the stuff and across the road you can see there's barbed wire against that house there to keep out rats or no good gangsters or thugs or whatever you want to call them gangsters in this area that actually there are gangs in this area isn't there we got told last night we went and got a massage the lady said one block block back yeah gangs roam the streets what she say she was off she felt safer when working in thailand yeah than working in phnom penh Yes. Gangs. Gangs. They have like a group of boys and pretty girls. Yep. The girls like hang around at the river front. Yeah. And when men come and like pick them up. Yeah. The boys then come and swarm them. Ah. Swarm them. Pickpocket them. Yeah. No, that's not a pickpocket. No, that's, not, that's, that's that's a robbery. Robbery. That's a robbery. So yeah, very dangerous. There's a mosquito very over there. You've seen a mosquito before, I'm not sure. Check out the view in this window. This is the view of the Transformers. This is brilliant. I would love to take a photo of this for my collection, but that is, it's beautiful, it's lovely. Um, I haven't seen one of these for a long time. CRT TV, that'll weigh 13 tons, and it's a TV star brand. With the big bum in the back. Yeah, it's, that's what you call CRT. I don't know what CRT stands for. I can't remember what it stands for, but. Oh, is that even plugged in? I was hoping for a good old-fashioned startup. Oh, what a, what a shame. It's right, we don't have time. Check out the CRT? bathroom. CRT TV. Oh. No, no, let's plug it in. We found a plug. Let's let's plug the bastard in. For nostalgia purposes. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, I think she's struggling. Maybe it needs some new spark plugs. Oh, I don't know. You can see it's trying to get power. You gotta prime the fuel pump. There's a pulse. Anyway, we'll let that do its thing. Check out the bathroom. Now, don't let this bathroom or the look of this bathroom deceive you. That actually gives amazing water pressure. I mean, so much so that the whole fucking bathroom got wet when we had a shower. Um, right up through to here and the door and a whole lot. There is very, very little separation, no separation between the shitter and the shower. So you're gonna have a wet shit if you have a shower bef before you shit, yes. So no separation there between the two, which look, I'm a big fan of just having a curtain so you don't get your bum wet. Or you can do this when you have a shower. Oh, you can just put the lid down. Yeah, yeah but where's the fun in that? Um, where's the fun in wet bum? I don't know. Well, apparently in this country, wet bums, they're a bit mouldy in the roof, a bit manky in the roof, but hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about that? Um, they've got a fan. I don't think it works. We've got a switch for the fan. But um, I'm sure it was working before, but look, at least it's there. It's the thought that counts. The thought of steam and moisture extraction is better than having no thought for it. So at least one day maybe they can hook that up and get that sorted out again. Check out this old school waterproofing device on the old uh, razor plug here, whatever you want to call it. The sink is microscopic, very, very small sink, which we're small people. Doesn't mean we deserve small sinks, but it's a sink nonetheless, and it doesn't leak. It's actually got proper plumbing, which is good. Um, what were some of the other features of this room that you would like to point out? It's got nice tiles. Oh, let's get rid of this before it uh, capitulates. Maybe it's not enough juice. Maybe we go for the high, high voltage. Oh, that. Nah, let's just call that DOA. Sorry, folks. Well, look, this is it. Um, coming from where we've stayed at, at home in our apartment to here, um, we've stayed in we've stayed in way more basic places than this, but it did the job. Uh, Max stayed with uh, a niece last night in Sokran, and we went and watched the footy. Carlton lost, so that's that. That's the lot done um, for the year, and came back here after a couple of drinks and a massage, and we just collapsed and went to bed so look as long as you've got a bed and it's not boiling hot and it's not full of mosquitoes although we left the windows open and we had a couple of mosquitoes in here um the place did its job so if you need the location a, is the best the location's bang on guys i'll put on the map where this is it's right near the fcc right near the duke restaurant a block back Museum. from the waterside museum's just over Real there Palace. and you're not paying 60 80 bucks a night like you would yeah. or 100 bucks a night if you were one block over there so um perfectly acceptable for a one night stay in a pinch anyway let us know what you think would you come and stay in a place like this would you need some things that are a bit more fancy would you need a better view than the power lines would you need anything other than a leaky air conditioner that does its job and removes the moisture from the room let us know in the comments. We're gonna go out to the village today and then we're gonna probably go on a bit of a road trip. Stay tuned, we'll take you on that journey with us. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Chicka chow! Chicka chow! All right, let's roll. Oh, he's in the shitter. <laughs> All right, we'll wait for him.